Hello everyone again, this is Garrett. I'm going to show you guys how to set up uh, and use a Windows DNS and ISS server with a GoDaddy domain that it's been attached. So first off, I'm going to log into GoDaddy here real quick. Uh, from the domains, after my account, you go into domains, find the domain, click launch. From there, you're going to pop up on the settings page. In my case, I'm going to set the name servers to be pointing to itself and the domain control. To be able to even point to itself like this, it's going to be under host names down here at the bottom on GoDaddy. Then click here and you're going to manage. These will allow you to set these in statically to an IP address, which would be your actual name servers. So in my case, I only got one IP, so I send name server one, name server two. If you wanted to, you can set them both to go to name server 1 and name server 2, but in my case, I want a secondary fallback in case the first server does not respond. Just so you guys can see it, over here, I did set an NS2 record for safety precaution here. But as you notice, my first record is actually going to a different IP. That's because this is a secondary domain that whenever I try to do a DNS lookup, I will get the, f the first authoritative domain in my name servers. So in this case, my name server is giving me a response. Now, just for those who don't know if their name server is available on the outside of their network, I'm going to go from here, and I'm going to show you how to make sure it's working on the inside first. So in my case, it's 192.168.4. And I'm going to look up gmscripts.net. So you notice it gives me that IP. And, si and as you notice, it gives me that IP. The problem that's going to happen here is if you're inside your own network and you're trying to access that IP, it will most likely not work unless you are on a different network. So if I type this in, it's going to give me no response back. Mainly because I'm trying to go out and come back in, which my out is the same as my in, which makes no sense, and it just drops the packet. So you notice I just keep on getting here and sitting at this waiting. And okay, once you have that, I'm going to go over here to my dragon here. This is all pre-set up since I had to go and re-verify the credentials are working correctly, and instead of having to wait for the DNS update, it it's easier for me to show you this way. Okay, as we notice here, we have a name server. We can always change this name server. We can go edit. We can change that name to ns2.gmscripts.net in this case. Resolve. We're going to get a good IP. Click OK. Click Apply. Please be aware, whenever you do this, make sure you're under forwarding lookups. Add new zone. Create the zone with the main name domain. Then from there, it's going to automatically calibrate setting the name server. It's the same as the name on your server. Now, as you notice, I only have one server in here, so I can't really change anything other than I can change it to this. There we go. Responsible person, host master, that is fine. This is just setting up so everything is pointing back to the correct server and what server it is. From there, I added an A record, as you notice right here. Then I added the www so it works, and then ns2. ns2 is just a spell back for me. I'd rather have that there safer than sorry. So we know that's working. Now over in ISS, I'm going to do something a little bit different than I did the last time in my tutorial. Is I created the site, which as you notice, I did not create the site correctly. <laughs> so let's go and edit that real quick. So it's supposed to be .NET. Um, what I did is I actually statically set it to an IP. In this case, depending on your machine, if it only has one NIC, you only have one IP, you can go with all unassigned. It doesn't matter. As long as you have a host name in there, it will only reference for that domain. Let me edit this one too. Another thing that you should know is if you have two external IPs and they're both going into that machine, you can dedicate which external IP will only accept on that host name. It's great for if you have an SSL, so say if the SSL or secure encryption requires a dedicated IP. If one of the NICs is not being used by any domain, you can set it up where it only uses that IP, and then you have to set in that record over here. Anyway, so let's make sure .NET's in there. Click OK. Click Close. All those should be resolving correctly. As you notice, even on this machine right here, I will not be able to access that domain. I can get my computer to respond here a little bit for you. Like I said, it's going out and trying to come back in. Even if it is on the same machine, it's going off the record. The record is pointing to the outside. The, mach the machine that I'm on does not know that's my outside record unless it tries to find it. Because the machine thinks its IP is 192.168.0.4. 
So once we have that set up, I have that domain put in. And now I have lost my bar here. Now we need to verify that we can get to the name servers from the outside. This is just for those who need troubleshooting here. So as you notice here, I'm right here. So I'm going to go exit. So let's see if I can do an NS lookup on my server. So my server is 170, 179. I'm going off IP first to make sure that works correctly. Okay, I got an IP. That works. Now let's search up gmscripts.net. As you notice, I get a response. It's going back to the same IP that's the name server. Let's try www.gmscripts.org. Okay, see, we're doing pretty well there. So as we got, we got the same address, and it's an alias of www. So we know we're able to access from the outside, as I lost my bar again, as we notice here. Okay. So if we can access it from the outside, that means the DNS is resolving correctly. Another way that you can check it is uh, who is, um, who dot is, type in the domain. Once you update it, you're good. In my case, I've been updating in a while, so I keep on checking it. As you notice, I have my two domains name servers there. Okay. So now I can't access it here. So I'm going to go to Smog here to open up my browser. Now, the problem here is that I am on a non-business internet service provider. I'm on a basic home user, so they will not allow me to use port 80. So what my trick is to this, just so we know, it's going to be 8080. This is my actually outside of my firewall. The actual IP the port that it's actually going to is 80, which would be the normal. But since I have a firewall in between and a service provider that doesn't allow me to use port 80, some service providers will not allow you to use port 53, you will have to find a way around that. If you cannot use 53, I would not recommend doing an in-house domain name server. So we have that. Um, let's just try something else here real quick for you guys. Uh, wrong server here. So we know we got GM scripts working. I just want to show you guys a little trick here. Actually, something kind of cool. So um, let's add another record here, which I can't. Which actually, I don't need to add another record. Actually, I'll leave that to the next tutorial. That might be a little bit nicer for you guys to know. But this is how you set up a standard name server. Um, there's no extra in detail that you need to go. The only step that you need to make sure that you do know is that when you are trying to make the name server to itself, you need to make sure you make the host names. If you do not make the host names, you will not be able to set up the name servers. Unless you have another domain that already has name servers pointing to the correct address for you, this will not work. So if there's any questions, feel free to leave a comment or um, any suggestions, please leave a comment. If anything's hard to understand, I'm up for more comments on that too. So have a good one, guys.